It's hoped a scheme which brings victims of crime together with offenders will be rolled out through prisons across the state. The Sycamore Tree Project, run by the Prison Fellowship, aims to reduce recidivism but also help victims to heal. Kieran McKechnie reports. It's a rare sight, prisoners and victims working together. The course is the Sycamore Tree Project, run here at the High Security Prison at Gatton in southern Queensland. Over eight weeks, offenders meet victims to talk about the effects of their crimes. Which has a greater impact on us as offenders because then it brings out these raw feelings and a hurt people. you see the hurt in people. The prisoner gets change, the victim gets healing, the state's not paying $120,000 a year to keep someone in a prison. Fran Dempsey's husband was murdered 37 years ago. She says for victims too, the project offers a way to move forward. I really did think that I was coming here to offer help. <laughs> um, but I think I've received more. Hi, I'm Martin from the Sycamore Tree Project. I've had the amazing experience of sitting down with groups of crime victims and inmates in some of our local prisons. And would you believe it, it's the inmates who are more nervous? We had a guy that came in once, a big muscly guy with the tats. He was highly respected and feared in the prison. But in the Sycamore Tree Project on that first day, he said for the first time in his life, he was scared just sitting down with our group of crime victims. He was scared because this was the first time he had ever thought about his own victims who had to pick up the pieces after his crime. When we sat down that first day, it really hit him. The prison bosses keep saying that it's our program that gets through to them. And we do this by looking at the gospel principles of confession, repentance, forgiveness and reconciliation. And then we say, okay, how does this apply in real life after the impact of crime? When you've committed an armed robbery or lost a loved one in a murder, do these teachings of Jesus still work in the aftermath of devastating situations? And we found out that yes, they do. These natural enemies start to realize that they have a lot in common. Most criminals have been victims of crime through violence and abuse in the home as children. So there's a point of connection and empathy and crime victims tell their stories and see the impact of their stories in the faces of these tough criminals. And after seven weeks of this, we bring in officials from the community into the prison to see the results. We've had judges, psychologists, criminologists, prison officials, members of parliament, and they've all said the same thing. We've never seen anything like this. Well, I've seen these people in tears.